Hello and welcome to Weekly Roundup. What is Weekly Roundup? I will be taking a number of news stories relating to the entertainment industry from the last week and I'll be talking about them in detail. So let's get started. Before we start, I'd like to recommend a new show that's just started this past week, Stargirl. Um, it's a really good superhero show. Do you know what Arrow has done? It's completed its run. Uh, the Flash has had its season finale. Uh, I don't watch Legends of Tomorrow, but this show, it it, it gives me that superhero fix. Um, and it's just had its premiere episode. And I have to say, I think it's the best... No, it is the best CW superhero, superhero premiere I've seen. Um, and that's saying a lot. I have to say, like, oh, I'm a fan of The Flash. But I remember the, the first premiere episode. I wasn't completely sold on it. But, you know, I, I, I like the show. Um, the same with Arrow. Wasn't completely sold in the first episode. But overall, I like the show. But I think Stargirl, this show has a lot of potential. So I highly recommend it. Check it out. Okay, so our first issue. Spike Lee, his new movie. The Five Bloods, uh, it just dropped its first trailer this past week. And, okay, what you need to understand is, like, when Spike Lee makes a movie, he's not just making a movie. When Spike Lee makes a movie, he is making a statement. When Spike Lee makes a movie, one stops what they're doing and they pay attention. Because, you know, a Spike Lee movie is an event. So what is the five bloods about so it's a it's about a, a group of five men five veterans five black veterans from the vietnam war and from the trailer it looks like they go back to vietnam to recover some treasure they buried when they were when they were serving and what's interesting about this movie is that it takes it takes place in the past when they were serving and present day and it looks like some of the f themes of the of the movie will be, you know, uh, reconciliation, revenge, and closure. J just just to name a few. Um, and I think that's going to be really interesting to see. Um, and that's going to be out on Netflix on June the twelfth. So people, make sure you check that out. Um, some standouts. Uh, or some stars in the movie, uh, Chadwick Boseman, of course, Black Panther, and uh, Delroy Lindo. And if you're not aware of Delroy Lindo, uh, you should check out his show on uh, CBS or Access. Or if you're in the UK, I believe it's on um, all four. Uh, the Good Fight, awesome! Show. I love that show, and he's like he's a standout in that show. So I'm excited to see like what he'll bring to the Five Bloods. Topic number two, Tom Hanks has a new war movie coming out called Greyhound and it's to do with uh, submarines um, and this movie was due to be released uh, June 19th in cinemas by um, Sony Pictures but of course with the current situation uh, it has been postponed and it was sold to Apple TV Plus, and this is huge because you know Apple TV Plus is a new streaming service, and of course they don't have any new content out at the minute. They've got their established shows on there, you know, like Jason Momoa C, um, the Jennifer Aniston show, uh, the Morning Show, and uh, and they don't have any new kind of new material coming out. So this is interesting. Um, and there isn't a release date, a new release date for Greyhound as of yet, but it's coming to Apple TV Plus, and this is exciting um, because there's a streaming war going on at the minute. Also, Tom Hanks wrote and he stars in this movie. So yes, uh, stay tuned for more information on Greyhound. Topic number three, uh, this one's huge, Joe Rogan is taking his YouTube podcast show, The Joe Rogan Experience, and uh, it was sold to Spotify for a reported $100 million. Um, uh, this is really interesting because, as I said before, there's a streaming war going on, so all the streaming services are looking for content to get eyeballs, and, you know, Joe Rogan, he's 
if you go on his YouTube channel and just like look at some of the numbers his podcast gets, you can understand why Spotify paid a hundred million dollars. Rob reported a hundred million dollars for the Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan is going to bring bring in his audience to Spotify, and you know when if some of Joe Rogan's audience aren't already on Spotify, they're now going to spend time on Spotify. Do you, do you know what I mean? So. It's all, it's, all, it's all about synergy. It's all about synergy there. Um, so that, that that was a shrewd business move by uh, Spotify. So this is the tweet that uh, Joe Rogan released in regards to the Spotify move. And this is, this is really interesting. Uh, announcement. The podcast is moving to Spotify starting on September 1st. The podcast will be available on Spot- Spotify as well as all platforms. And then at the end of the year, meaning this year, 2020, it will move exclusively to Spotify. Moving on, Ruby Rose has left Batwoman. She was the lead character in Batwoman and she has left that show. Um, And this is really interesting because you don't often hear that the lead actress of a show has has left the show. Um, So what what can we expect? Uh, The the role will be recast. Reports have have said that it was uh, an amicable split, so that's interesting. Uh, it will be interesting to see what she does next. Um, so I didn't I didn't watch Batwoman, didn't watch the show, um, but I did see Ruby Rose as book Batwoman during the CW crossovers, and um, she was all right. I, that, that's what I have to say on that. Um, I first became aware of Ruby Rose during uh, Orange is the New Black and uh, the last movie I saw her in was The Meg so it will be it will be nice to see like what her next move is moving on the new trailer for Tenet debuted last night the 21st of May via Fortnite the game uh, this blew my mind because I'm not a gamer so I maybe I can't comprehend how big Fortnite is but it debuted via Fortnite. Um, usually trailers debut via YouTube, so this is interesting. I wonder if this is a new trend, and I and I say a trend because uh, during the last Star Wars movie, a clip was debuted on on Fortnite first. Uh, so that's interesting. Is this uh, a, a way movie studios are going to do business? Well. Will they debut kind of like clips via not just Fortnite but other kind of other games similar to Fortnite? Uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. And if it is, wow! Finally, this uh, when this news came out, I just had to like stop and double take um, the Snyder Cut. It's real. Uh, what do I mean by that? So a few years ago, the Justice League came out. And the director of the Justice League is was Zack Snyder. Um, so they shot the movie, and that was all good. Uh, then uh, something happened. Then Zack Snyder had to step away. Uh, then uh, he was replaced by Joss Whedon. And Joss Whedon came in, and he rewrote the script and reshot a majority of the film. And the Justice League was released. And uh, the general consensus is that that movie that was released, the 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 Whedon cut, wasn't wasn't what fans wanted. It wasn't it wasn't Zack Snyder's vision, and there was a huge movement called uh, hashtag release the Snyder cut, and that's been about for like the last two years. And earlier this week, uh, Zack Snyder was doing a, a live. Uh, director's discussion about uh, Man of Steel, so he put on Man of Steel and he was talking about you know, his experience doing Man of Steel and he did a QA and a with fans afterwards, then just before the stream ended he was like, guys, the Snyder Cut it's coming, it's real, it's coming to HBO Max in uh, 2021 and that is just crazy it'll be interesting to see his vision and what's uh, really interesting about this is that Apparently, it's been reported, it's it's going to be a four-hour cut. But it hasn't been decided if they're going to release it all all at once as a four-hour cut. 
or the other option that's been reported is they'll do it in uh they'll cut it up in segments so it'll be almost like a a limited series of uh, 35 minutes a piece um and and you know they still got time to make that decision and they'll reportedly they are going to to invest 30 million dollars into like doing the all the post production work and um yeah i can't wait to see the the Snyder vision for the Justice League thank you so much for watching uh don't forget to like share and subscribe and while you're here why not check out the other videos on my channel see you soon